Hello! In this video, I'm gonna teach you very useful Korean expression you should know from some Samdong lyrics. I'm not gonna explain every single line, but I will choose some useful expression you should know from some Samdong lyrics and explain how the word is form and means. 안녕하세요! This is Busan Namja 1. I'm here to teach you Korean and Korean culture. Learning Korean could be a hard time for you, but let me make it easy and fun. If you wanna get my latest updated video, please subscribe to my channel, click the alarm button, and follow my Instagram and TikTok. Before going to explain Korean words, I wanna make sure that you understand Korean verbs in the Korean grammar system. When you read the Korean dictionary, you will notice that a lot of verbs and adjectives end with ta. For example, to see in Korean, 보다. To eat in Korean, 먹다. When Korean verbs are conjugated, we usually drop ta after the verb or the additives and change the verb stem with the desired conjugation. The part you do not drop is called verb stem. Okay, I hope you understand Korean verb stem and let me teach you another Korean grammar rule. Koreans tend to omit subjects in sentences. If you want to learn more about that, please watch my previous video. And from now on, let's study Korean song, Dum Dum by Somi. And I will teach you Korean words with my notebook. 연습하다, 연습하다. 거울 앞에서 또 연습해. 거울 앞에서 또 연습해. 연습하다 means to practice in English. In the song, you can hear 연습해 instead of 연습하다. 연습해 is an informal and casual way of speaking Korean. You can talk to your friends or people younger than you. Let me explain how 연습하다 became 연습해. When you use a or ya grammar, it is an informal and casual Korean. In a or ya Korean system, hada conjugated with yo and becomes he. From that method, yanspada becomes yanspe. In the music video, Somi was staring at herself in the mirror and she was talking to herself. So she talked casually. You can use 연습해 with your friends. The basic sentence is noun plus 연습해. But this has two meanings based on the contents. The one is to say 하고 있다, which means be ing. Koreans tend to shorten 하고 있다 and say 해 for casual speaking instead of 하고 있다. Like instead of 하고 있다, which means to be practicing, we say 연습해. Both have the same meaning, but this is way more casual than this one. Also, the last meaning is a casual way of speaking for to practice and that is 연습해 too. Let me give you some example. As first meaning of 연습해, which is to be practicing, when your friends ask you what you're doing, you can say 한국어 연습해, which means I'm practicing Korean, or 수영 연습해, which means I'm practicing a swim. As a second meaning of 연습해, which is to practice, when someone asks you what do you do during your free time, you can say 한국어 연습해, which means I practice Korean, or 수영 연습해, which means I practice a swim. But if you want to be polite, you can simply add 요 at the end. Like 수영 연습해 요 and 한국어 연습해 요 for both the meaning which are to be practicing and to practice. 좋아하다 좋아하다 이런 표정을 넌 좋아해. 이런 표정을 넌 좋아해. Can you see what is the similar between 연습해 and 좋아해? 3, 2, 1. Yes, 좋아해 ends with 해, which is the same as 연습해. 좋아해 
is also informal and casual way of speaking Korean. 좋아하다 is a basic form of 좋아해 and it means to like in English. The same a, o, yo grammar rules applies on 좋아하다. When 하다 and yo put together, they become he. That is how 좋아하다 becomes 좋아해. You can use 좋아해 with your friends or people younger than you. The basic sentence is noun. What you like plus 좋아해. And it means to like something. For example, your friends ask you, What do you do like to do? You can say 영화 좋아해, which means I like movie. Or 게임 좋아해, which means I like a game. Also, if you want to be polite, you can add yo at the end, like 영화 좋아해 yo, instead of 영화 좋아해, which is the informal way of speaking Korean. Or 게임 좋아해 yo, instead of 게임 좋아해, which is the informal way of Korean speaking too. 모르다, 모르다. 여자의 마음을 너무 몰라 넌 여자의 마음을 너무 몰라 넌 This is the same Korean grammar 아, 어, 여 grammar with two previous expressions which are 연습해 and 좋아해 So 몰라 is also informal and casual expression In English, when you know something, you will use know and when you don't know something, you will use don't know. But in Korean, we use 알다, which means know in English, and 모르다, which means don't know in English. Furthermore, the verb stem of 모르다 is 모르, and 모르 is conjugated using 아, 어, 여, Korean grammar, irregular verb 르 applied as to 몰라 because 모르다 is one of irregular verb 르 so 르 became 받침 리을 plus 라 and that conjugated with 모 and becomes 몰라 this is how 모르다 is formed into 몰라 you can make the sentence like and what you don't know plus 몰라 for example, when you're talking with your friends, you can say 한국말 몰라 which means I don't know Korean or BTS 몰라 which means I don't know BTS Also, do you wanna 몰라 in formal Korean? You can simply add 요 after 몰라 like 한국말 몰라 요 instead of 한국말 몰라 or BTS 몰라 요 instead of BTS 몰라 Easy, right? 안 꾸민 듯 꾸미다 안 꾸민 듯 꾸미다 안 꾸민 듯 꾸며 보곤 해안 꾸민 듯 꾸며 보곤 해 This sentence is a combination of 안 꾸미다 and 꾸미다 꾸미다 means to dress up in Korean and 안 꾸민다 means to not dress up because 안 means not in Korean. Also, another important grammar point, 드시 is applied it. When Korean use 드시, 이 is usually omitted. 드시 means as if or seems like. When you say something in the present tense, you should add the consonant below the stem verb before this. The verb stem of 꾸미다 is 꾸미. And when 꾸미 is conjugated with 니은 plus 드, which is the present tense of 드시, it becomes 꾸민 드. Plus, when you put 안, which is not in Korean, you can make 안 꾸민 듯. In a nutshell, 안 꾸민 듯 꾸미다 means dress up as if you're not dressed up. Or 
dress up, but not to dress up. Also, we have a slang term for that expression. It is kuangku, which is a shortened term of kumindit and kumindit. And it means a cool, effortless look or effortlessly chic. 머리 꼭대기에 앉아 있다. 머리 꼭대기에 앉아 있다. 난네 머리 꼭대기에서 춤춰. 난네 머리 꼭대기에서 춤춰. I think she changed the verb in this idiom, which is 머리 꼭대기에 앉아 있다. 머리 꼭대기에 앉아 있다 really means sitting on the top of someone's head. But when Koreans use this idiom, we actually use it differently. It means you know the way they think and act. So you are able to manipulate, control, or mistreat the other person even though it is wrong to do so. So the meaning contains a negative nuance. In my opinion, in Sumi's Dum Dum music video, the girl is intentionally playing dumb to get boys' attention because she knows that she will fall for her action. So basically she knows him inside and out, knows the way he act or he think, and she tries to put up a front on the purpose. Let me give you some example. Let's say you're dating with somebody and your boyfriend or girlfriend did not contact you the whole night yesterday. And they told you they were busy doing something for work but you thought they are lying to you intentionally. Then you can say, 어젯밤에 뭐 했어? What did you do last night? 내가 네 머리 꼭대기에 앉아 있어. It literally means I sit on the top of your head. But in this situation, it means I know what you're doing last night. It is because she is trying to control him and force him to tell her the truth because she knows the way he behaved and his behavior was strange and say 거짓말 하지 말고 말해 don't lie to me for another example let's say a teenager boy spoke bad words to his teacher and you saw it and wanted to tell him off at the time you can say 학생 학생이 선생님의 머리 꼭대기에 앉아서 욕하면 안 되지 Hey, you're not supposed to mistreat your teacher. In this situation, you thought the student mistreated the teacher even though it is wrong to do so. And he might know his behavior was wrong. That's why he said that. We learned the five Korean expressions from Somi Dum Dum Lilics. I hope you've learned a lot from this video. And if you have a question about this video, please leave a comment or send me a DM on my Instagram. Thank you for watching my video and I hope you have a great day. Bye! 안녕히 계세요!